Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Well, are we at? Were we in the tribulation yet? Very good question. I can answer it. You know, I, I can answer it in my heart. But first of all, I want to concentrate a little on Matthew twenty-four about pre-tribulation rapture and what it says in chapter twenty-four, thirty-one. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together the elect, uh, the elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. I wonder who they could be. It must be someone in heaven already. Bearing in mind that Matthew 24 is up to 31, is for the Jews. It's all about what's going to happen in Israel, in the tribulation. Okay? He couldn't, obviously the writer, Matthew, couldn't um, align the scripture to say they had to write it as one. But it's quite clear we're talking about two things, two separate things here. And one is Israel in the first part, and one is the church age, the believers, the born again. Now, if you're wondering what this channel is about, it's about the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and the advancement of the kingdom of Father God, whereby if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved, signed, sealed and delivered on confession and belief. No other way, not by works. OK, you're not good enough. Neither am I. Um, Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fallen short of God's grace. We are not worthy. We cannot work for it. It was a free gift, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. It is not of works. It is not of works. Good works will follow. Now, if you want to be saved, just type, I want to be saved in the comments and I'll get back to you with scripture and confirmation of what I'm saying here today. But what is coming about is the great tribulation. Is the tribulation. And we're going to touch a little on that as well. Knowing that we are not in it, brothers and sisters. Now, we know that we are out of here pre-trib because the word just said so one example of it just saying so is that we are out of tribulation and many more and many many more if you rightfully divide the word so why are we not in tribulation well let's have a look at what's happening in the tribulation okay now i better just put it on full screen if we talk about the seals from revelation 6 this is the last book in your bible by the way, if you're new new to the channel and you're new to Christ, don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you like what we're doing. Revelation 6, the Antichrist, false peace. There'll be war, famine, death, and death of a quarter of the population destroyed. Earth and heaven shall be shaken and the 144,000 sealed and silence in the heavens. Okay? Silence in the heavens. That's in the seals. Trumpets, Revelation 8, 9, 9, 11. A third of the trees and the grass are going to be destroyed. Has that happened yet? Not yet, although there's been a lot of fires. A third of sea life ships destroyed. Sea life and ships, a third are going to be destroyed. A third of fresh water poisoned. A third of the sun, moon and stars darkened. First woe, demonic locusts. Demonic locusts. Second woe, fire and brimstone. A third of the people left are killed. Left are killed after the seals. Prophets preach and do miracles. You haven't seen that yet? Christ's reign foreseen. Bowls. These are what's coming in tribulation, like the earth has never seen before. Boils. All sea life will be destroyed. All sea life will be destroyed. All water poisoned. Scorching sun, we won't be able to get out of it. Deep darkness, rebellious mankind curses, curses God. We will cur them that are left. It will be so bad that they will curse. And the Euphrates River, dry battle of Armageddon. Okay, it's not dry yet. Worldwide earthquake, Babylon destroyed. Huge hailstones. That's the tribulation. Are we in the tribulation yet? No. No, no. We are in the beginning of sorrows. Wars, rumours of wars, but this is not the end. Okay? But we are definitely not in the tribulation. And we definitely am not on the 
Antichrist or the abomination of desolation. <laughs> a lot of confusion there. And it doesn't use the word Antichrist in Revelation. It uses the word abomination of desolation as Daniel wrote. But this is a comfort, guys. This is a comfort. We're to be watching for him to come and get the bride. The bride will not be beaten up and then brought to the wedding. We're going somewhere to be with him for a period of time. We're not going to be down here and taken up and brought down again in a terrible state, come back to him as a bride. There's nothing about it that adds up for those who think they're going to be in the tribulation. Brothers and sisters, it could come at any time. I know I'm looking at an interesting thing that's happening around Rosh Hashanah. Don't know which Rosh Hashanah that referred to. I really hope it's this time. But it doesn't need a feast or a festival for the Lord to come and get the bride because we're not Jewish or the bride, although they are, but we're under the church of belief. So if you believe that you are going in the rapture like the scripture says, then you'll be gone. If you don't believe, then good luck. Good one on that. So it's a very, very difficult one. Meanwhile, what do we do? He says, be about my business. And he gives us fine examples in Matthew 25, which is then firmly talking to the church age. And the parable of the ten virgins, you know, keeping lampslit, keeping watch, keeping Luke up, waiting for him. The parable of the three servants, okay? The final judgment comes on there as well. That's interesting. I must get on to that one. Uh, final judgment, guys. From 2531, the Son of Man come in the glory and fall as holy angels with him. I must study that. The thing is, we must be in the word. We're seeing so much on YouTube. You know I've said in previous videos, it is confusion. And my God is not a God of confusion. We're just cherry picking video, video, video and putting it on. We've got to watch the sorrows let's call it sorrows we've got to watch the signs and seasons which we're doing we've got to be in his business which is quite clear in the virgins and the parable of the servants we, we've got to be in that period of time right now because i don't know when he's coming it could be a month it could be oh no a year but he could be today we could be gone we don't know Nothing will snatch you out of God's hand, as it is written. Remember Jesus said to Satan and the temptations, it is written, it is written, that if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, Romans 10, 9 and 10, it is written. It is also written in Romans 8, 35 to 39, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress, that's what we're going through now, distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. It is written that thy sake, for thy sake, we are killed all day long. We are going through what could be classed as tribulation, but it's not the tribulation. It's not Jacob's trouble. It's not the seven years. All day long we are accounted as sheep, for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. What part of scripture don't we understand? Don't get it? Through him that love us. Because we confessed. Because we believe. Not because we worked or did anything. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. No other religion, no other faith, no other way. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to God but by him. Have it your own way. If you think someone else can get you into heaven and get you into eternal life and get you away from what's coming, then crack on. I am, not, I am dusting my sandals. Okay, if you don't want to know, it's not my problem. It is not my problem. Brothers and sisters, where to go and spread the word? We're supposed to go and preach the gospel to the world. That's our job as Christians. Once you ask the Lord in, you will receive the Spirit. You will receive the Spirit. 
and he will guide you. He will start telling you things are not right because you'll know it. And if you read the word, which you should be doing, he will help you through it. That complicated, miles wide, miles deep book that will bring us closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. Sorry for the controversial ones. I will continue doing the commands of Jesus to put on a playlist so you can put them out. You can share them to your friends. That's what it's about. Accurate biblical teaching. We will not endure the wrath. I will leave you with may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless. Oh, 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 oh,